of these little buggers. Well, I'm saying little, they're huge. Um, this is a caterpillar from a hawk moth. And as you can see, he's having a good nibble on these plants. Number five, look at the size of him. Beautiful colours. Absolute wonder of nature. Number six, good lord. The size of this thing. We are strip all the leaves off of these plants in the garden. And they do it every year. They keep coming back. Little monkeys. Got a yellow tail. That's where all that poo comes from. Here he is nibbling on the next leaf, look. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, we've had a poo for you now. It's quite marvellous, you know. Unless you see this poo on the ground, you don't know you've got them sometimes because they're so well camouflaged. Number 11. Oh, my goodness me. I don't believe this. Number 11's a pretty energetic little bugger. I'm so happy I've come out here to look at this plant this morning because if I hadn't, tomorrow there would be no leaves on it whatsoever. Uh, don't believe it. It's number 13. Seriously. Number 13, your time's up. You're leaving the garden. And you're gonna go into the hedge. There you go, go in there. A lot more for you to munch on in there. Chai Mong Kol is a beautiful temple. Uh, this uh, stuba behind me, in the sun, it's uh, really quite bright. And this uh, sala here, this vihan, is really quite ornate. Well, this is the Ping River Cruise um, organisation. They have a little coffee shop here at the back of uh, at back, back of the temple. 350 each. Thank you so much. Wow, and that's lunch included, and we've we've uh, chosen to have the the, the pad thai that's here. Goes at six thirty in the evening for a dinner cruise, and the price of the dinner cruise, tell I cup, seven hundred fifty. Wow, well the man has just started the boat specially for us. There's just two of us on this boat trip. 350 baht, special offer until the end of July. I saw it on Facebook and I thought, yes, this would be an excellent item for the vlog. And why not take advantage of it with uh, Natterporn? A romantic journey up the river. Well, these boats you can hire to have a trip up the river and you go up for a lunch, get back on the boat, come back down again. It's a relaxing little time on, on the water. Natapawn's in full selfie mode. She's thoroughly enjoying this. Here we go under Waterlock Bridge. Well, three to four years ago, uh, the uh, river flooded. Uh, a little bit higher than normal and these cars in this car park at a coffee shop uh, outside of Waterlock Market. Um, owners came back to their cars and found them underwater so you can understand that the water does rise up. A couple of weeks ago I stood on this bridge talking to you about the start of the monsoon and I went into Waterlock Market and walked around and showed you some of the sights and sounds in the market. Well, today I can tell you without fail, the prices in there are probably still the same. Would you like a bridge dedicated to you across the Ping? Would you like me to build a bridge across the river for you and name it after you? Yep, Natapawns Bridge. Hello, mate. Hello, it's me, my Oh. Okay. We try. Okay, It's his birthday at the end of the month. Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Well, this guy's not only got uh, 
one, two, three, four rods in the water. He's also got a spear gun. He's desperate to catch something. There are many hotels along this route, uh, on each side of the river, with a lovely outlook across the river. I'm sure at peak times the weeds would have been cut back, but with the lack of business it looks a little bit overrun. And the weeds are encroaching on the river. And in places, covering at least half the width of the river. See the man here with his allotment. Not sure whether he lives here or whether it's just his garden. But he's got everything stripped back. Oh. Okay, come. Wow, it's ready, no? Soy. That's a natural one. Come on. tables for customers to sit at, but sadly there are no customers now uh, during this COVID time. Well, in case you worried at what this was, they actually explained to you that it's a skeleton. This is a skeleton of an elephant. The last time there were actually people um, uh, you know, shirtless, drinking beer, um, screaming and shouting in this lovely little place that's, uh, you know, meant to represent uh, village life of Thai people. And it was just so, so wrong to be in this environment with the shirts off, uh, you know, guzzling beer uh, like uh, there was no tomorrow, you know, shouting for, for more. Kids out of control screaming, uh, babies in pushchairs, uh, and that sort of thing, and it just took the um, it just took the edge off the beautiful experience that you can have when you come to a little place like this and hear the birds, hear the nature that's around you, and feel feel relaxed. It's a lovely place. Today I'm practicing Jai Yen and I am feeling very, very, very relaxed. Well, this is the lunch we get with the cruise up the river. It's uh, Pad Thai and we've got gung prawn and an assortment of chili, sugar and peanut. Of course, a squeeze of a lemon and some bean sprouts. Well, we're back at the boat and we're on our way back into town. We've enjoyed a really nice lunch. And uh, this, this guy, this, the pilot of the boat, the captain, uh, he's told us that uh, this area was uh, included. Why are you hiding? Please, carry, carry on. Tam Tam Yes. Yes. Okay, so this guy here, he's being very polite. Uh, he's standing to the side, he doesn't want to make a noise because I'm making a video. I just want him to act normally. Um, that's the hardest thing to get a, uh, a person to act normally when you've shown them a camera that you're doing something. Anyway, 
Uh, this is uh, uh, us going back into town now. We've had a lovely lunch. Um, this uh, place was apparently used in one of the Rambo films, uh, so the, the pilot, the captain, the, the driver of the boat said. Um, lovely quiet spot, why not? Lovely place to make a film. Well, now we're nearly back at uh, the temple landing area. Uh, many times people rent boats like this to do a short trip out from the landing area and do a little circuit along this stretch. If you can imagine this stretch here for about uh, one kilometre down uh, has lots of ceramic pots on the riverbed. This is where people bring the ashes that have been collected after the burning of bodies and they have a little ceremony in the boat and say their farewell and let the ceramic pot drift down the river. Some beautiful trees along the side here and I think there's no nicer place to to be remembered for and to be dropped off in the water to stay for eternity on the bed of this river. What a lovely way. I think this is where I want to come. This is where I want to be dropped. This is where I'll stay. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and uh, consider leaving a comment. If you've not subscribed already, please do. And uh, check back regularly. I uh, put uh, videos up once, twice a week. See you next time. Thanks for joining me again. Stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.